This is breaking news. Good afternoon, I'm Chris Raggi. We are interrupting programming for some breaking news. The Lieutenant Governor of New Jersey, Sheila Oliver, has died. She was hospitalized earlier this week for an undisclosed medical condition while serving as acting governor while Governor Phil Murphy is out of the country. Sources say the 71-year-old was struggling with ongoing health issues that she kept private. In a statement, Oliver's family said Sheila Oliver leaves behind a legacy of dedication, service, and inspiration. We will remember her commitment to the people of New Jersey and her tireless efforts to uplift the community. Governor Phil Murphy said when I selected her to be my running mate in 2017, Lieutenant Governor Oliver was already a trailblazer in every sense of the word. I knew that then that her decades of public service made her the ideal partner for me to lead the state of New Jersey. It was the best decision I ever made. She was an incredibly genuine and kind person whose friendship and partnership will be irreplaceable. Nicholas Guattari, also a Democrat, is currently the acting governor that protocol went into effect yesterday morning when Oliver was hospitalized. A spokesperson for Governor Phil Murphy said the governor who is in Italy currently on vacation will be returning to the states soon. We are now joined by the acting governor, the aforementioned Nick Scutari, the Senate president of New Jersey. Mr. Scutari, thank you for taking a few moments. I know this is a, a, um, a heartbreaking time for everyone uh, with New Jersey government. If you could just speak a little to us uh, about the type of legislature that, that Ms. Oliver was. Uh, Speaker Oliver, Lieutenant uh, Governor Oliver was a tremendous individual, uh, a trailblazer, as you said, uh, broke the glass ceiling in so many different ways. I mean, she was the first uh, Speaker of the Assembly uh, who was an African-American woman and then moved on to be our first Lieutenant Governor who was an African-American woman. And more importantly, she was a great individual, a great person to get to know. I had dinner with her not that long ago. Just had a great time with her. Uh, she had great empathy for the people she represented, and she'll certainly and sorely be missed. Uh, was this a surprise for you, for other people uh, within the, the New Jersey government, to hear that she needed to go to the hospital, uh, especially with the governor being out of the country? I know it said uh, that her she was she was going through some medical conditions, but privately. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Yes, certainly somewhat of a surprise, but also not a complete surprise. She had been struggling with some health issues on and off for some period of time, not certain as to all what the diagnoses were. Never wanted to ask. If she wanted me to know, she'd tell me. Uh, but, uh, you know, anytime this happens and it goes so quickly, yeah, you're certainly surprised. Um, I know you've probably spoken with Governor Murphy, who I've mentioned is in Italy on vacation right now. What's the governor saying about what's transpired here? Uh, basically the same. He uh, really enjoyed her as a partner. He picked a really great individual to do that. Uh, and uh, otherwise, he, he, if it wasn't for anyone else, I don't think he'd be on his way back. But he is because of the, the friendship and the partnership they enjoy for the state of New Jersey. So um, obviously he's, he's sad and uh, he's going to be back to honor her. Um, with all due respect, the, the process, if you could just kind of take me through the process now of um, appointing the next lieutenant governor, what, what is that process like and what, 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 what does that entail? So interestingly, we didn't, New Jersey didn't even have a lieutenant governor until about uh, 16 or 16 years ago, I believe it is, uh, even less than that. Uh, when I first got in the legislature, we didn't have one. Uh, that was created as a result of some absences by a governor. So essentially it, it, it falls to the governor to make that appointment um, in, in about 30 days, but he also can leave it vacant if he wanted to, but it's more than likely uh, within about a month he'll make a selection. Uh, and, and if I can, before we, we let you go, and we do, we appreciate you taking uh, some time for us during this difficult time. If you could just speak to the legacy uh, of, of Sheila Oliver, the Lieutenant Governor. Well, a tremendous legacy, quite frankly. Uh, people can look up to her as a good person that achieved great heights in a, in a political career, one many, many, at that time dominated by men, and rose to the very heights of, of governmental office as the Speaker of the General Assembly, which is an extraordinarily influential and important position, and then became uh, the second lieutenant governor of the state ever. So, And, and, and many other things along the way, uh, helping her constituents of Essex County uh, so sorely be missed. How difficult does the job become for you now as acting governor with this taking place and with the governor still being out of the country for at least the next few hours at least? We're not sure exactly how quickly he'll be returning, but of course he's in Italy right now. What is this process like for you now? Well, this is not my first rodeo. I've been acting governor on three, uh, this is my third occasion doing it. I've been in the legislature for quite a while and great relationships with the current members of the administration. So we won't skip a beat. We're, we're doing the, the, the levers, we're moving the levers of government as they need to be. So. Uh, if it wasn't for something tragic, the governor being out of the country with wouldn't have been a problem at all. All right. Acting Governor Skatari, thank you for taking a few moments. We appreciate it. Our condolences to everyone with the entire government in the state of New Jersey.
Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And we will have much more on this breaking story throughout the afternoon, streaming on CBS News New York and tonight beginning on CBS 2 News at 5 p.m. This has been breaking news.